to our fifth postdoctoral research day here, and uh, today we have an exciting schedule of six oral presentations from postdocs in different departments in the morning. In the afternoon, we will have a poster session where other postdocs can present their work. And in between the two sessions, we have a keynote speaker. Uh, his name is Dr. Stephen L. Hoffman, an L. alumnus, and uh, many people find him inspiring. And Research Day is a chance to highlight the research endeavors of our postdoctoral community. They contribute significantly to the research that comes out of the medical college. It gives a chance for their labs to showcase their research uh, to each other, to network. And this year's Research Day is a career development opportunity because we're providing evaluations and feedback on their presentation skills. So we hope that this is going to benefit everybody, not just uh, in the near future, but also in long term as they become better presenters. And, uh, and, and, and that, that was a big step. I started with 3T MRI, and, and you see how bad the resolution is, right? In this one, this is the same picture in the 7T MRI. So we got a 7T MRI scan in August last year, and I redid everything, and it was worth it. The gold tea doesn't go out. It stays in the center of the cell. So it needs the microtubules that are resistant to the drug, plus the motor protein, to change the distribution. Combine, combine exactly. The mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I've created a system that allows temporal down regulation of this map. And similar to his system, except for in place of like a SMAD1 reading frame, I've substituted SMAD1. Oh,